Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick minute to talk about the container that we have coming in. Um, the container that we paid for in, in early December of last year, 2013. And uh, according to the factory, it was scheduled to be done in mid to late January. Well, we figured that that wouldn't happen, so we, we went ahead and had some buffer time uh, and assumed that it would be you know, mid to late February. That would be a full month later. It takes about 20 or, or so days to, to make it over the water and clear customs. So uh, we were counting on a mid to late March arrival date to us. And so that's what we originally put on the website. Well, we've hit two, three, four pushback dates at this point. And uh, it is finally being wrapped up, as you can see by the pictures here. And the planes are looking beautiful. Um, but basically what happened is, um, you know, in China right now, there's kind of a, uh, a revolution of sorts in terms of, of their, their work and industry. There's a lot of factory workers that <clears throat> they're wanting higher pay. They're wanting uh, office jobs, white collar jobs. And so the cost of labor is increasing or in general is just uh, diminishing for uh, factory type work. So our factory was having trouble finding workers that either A, um, you know, wanted to do the work uh, that, that were not looking for a different type of job, at, uh, you know, in general, or uh, B, were skilled enough to do the work uh, to replace the people that they had. So they didn't want to... Uh, you know, they didn't want to lower the quality of the planes, and they also didn't want to raise the price huge on us, uh, which we'd eventually have to turn on to you guys. So that's kind of the position we were in, is maintaining the, the prices and quality that, that we've been having and wanted to have. And uh, so, so we've done that, but paid the price of being delayed by a month, a month and a half because of it. So what that basically means is, in the future, um, you know, we're, you've probably seen most hobby shops are increasing prices on planes and this is the reason why and so likely our next container is going to be bumped up in price um, hopefully we're, we're going to try and keep it as conservative as we can but uh, what we're looking for is workers in China that are skilled and um, and basically to to get that we need to pay them uh, a rate that's kind of going right there which is going to increase the price per plane maybe by twenty twenty five dollars per plane so we'll just have to kind of wait and see but bottom line we're gonna keep the prices the same on this container so uh, this will probably be the last one that's that's kind of at the same prices that we currently have on our website um, so buy them now if you're thinking about the plane that we have in stock um, and uh, again as of this date they're wrapping up the container this is uh, it's like March 24th so <clears throat> they they told us and uh, basically showed us pictures of, of the process of everything. Looks like they've got about 20 planes to finish covering, box those, and get them loaded. So it should be within a few days here. It's loading on the container. Then it takes about 20, 25 days to uh, you know go over the water and then clear customs to get to our warehouse free and clear. So uh, that's kind of the timeline that we're looking at right now is unfortunately we're looking at mid to late April uh, rather than the uh, you know uh, mid to late or early to mid March that we were hoping for originally. So um, it's kind of what happens if, if you've been in this hobby at all. It's not, not the first time this happened that, that things have kind of thrown a, a wrench and things in, in the factories in China and, and caused delays. So, uh, but uh, we are working to, to basically make sure that we've got um, you know, high quality planes, best prices we can possibly make them, fly great, that are still have you know, nice and light but have great integrity great accessories, great paint, um, just the whole package at the best possible price. And I, I'm confident that that's still, you know, Red Wing RC is still where you're going to find that. So um, anyway, just wanted to give everybody an update and kind of let you know what's, what's going on with the progress of the container. And uh, hopefully this helps you understand that. All right. Thanks, guys.